Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to make a data mosh smearing effect in Avid EMX. So I go to File, go to Open, then choose a random video clip. That's either MP4 or AVI. Click on No as soon as this gets brought up. Alright, so once you have this open, under the Video tab, change Copy to MPEG4 ASP XVID. In the Audio tab, change this to MP3 Lame. Then once you've done that, go under the Video tab and click on Configure. And then click on Frame. And down here it says Maximum Consecutive B Frames, change that to zero. Change the maximum iframe interval to something very large. So I'm going to do just like that. So 999,999, that'll do. Okay, so once you've done that, go to File, Save, Save Video. Then call it wherever you want to and save it to wherever you want to. I'm just going to call it the mux. Then also add .avi or .mp4 to the end of your video, but if you add .avi, it'll be smoother and it'll have a thumbnail, so I'm just going to do that. And now i got to wait for this to finish. Shouldn't take too long. Unless your video is insanely short, it'll usually take around this long. Almost there. And done. Okay, so once that video finishes saving to here, or to wherever you saved it to, go to File, Close, and then drag in this video. All right, so once you put it into here, now is where the data moshing part begins. So I'm going to choose a random part in here, the data mosh and smear. So babysitter some all right so i'm gonna do it right here so what you want to do is click on where it shows the a right here then get your arrow key and move one forward or backwards but in my case i'm gonna do forward and then click on b then do Control c to copy then press your arrow key forward and each time you've done that press Control v afterwards and it'll paste the previous frame repeatedly. So do this for however long you want to, and for however long you want the effect to last. So I'm just going to do it until like frame 85, I guess. So, almost there. Alright, and good. Okay, so once you've done that, now go to where it says video here and under here change it back to copy and then go to file save save video and save it to wherever again and just call it whatever you want to again all right so then also do dot avi for this then everything will work fine so i'm saving it to my desktop and if it says this you may need smart copy enable it click on no all right, and there we go. Yeah, as you can see right here. Babysitter. Sometimes my the effect works. So yep, that's basically it. 